Hey, 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 what's up, you guys? It's your commissioner speaking, and uh, I'm so sorry I'm a date late from a normal release date, but, you know, duty calls. But, at least I have something else to talk about this week, because I saw what the uh, waiver wire turned out to be, and uh, I'm a little jealous. Some people got some people I wanted. Punks. But anyway, <laughs> so we had, uh, I believe, five, even, yeah, I think six, no, five, five teams in 200 points this past week, which is bananas. So obviously, uh, my team feels like it's tanking. It's literally, like, doing horrible right now. But uh, I don't know. Hopefully, I get lucky. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, uh, two teams, very, very hot lately. Aaron's team, Cody's team. They've been killing it, scoring over 200 points every week, I believe, in a five-game winning streak. They literally lost their first game this season, have won every single one after that. So they haven't looked back. So good job, you guys. All right. So besides that, kudos on that, and let's move on to our show. All right, so obviously uh, the quarterbacks were really high. There were several quarterbacks that did really good this week. Uh, depending on the league you're playing, that actually made a big difference. But in our league, due to our bonus system and all that, we had uh, this guy go crazy again. Check it out. That's right, Mr. Patrick Mahomes, that little dude over there gunning it against Brady. But yeah, 352 yards, four touchdowns for 68.48 points. Very good. And of course, that belongs to Mr. Cody. One of the reasons why he's doing so good. Good job, man. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to our running backs. Check out our hottest running back this week. Sneak was their friend last week. DeMarco, how about you? I'm giving it the 30 off tackle. It's been working all, all quarter long. Why not? It does have the feel of not just first down, but touchdown, doesn't it? Yes, it does. The Rams break the huddle, sprint to the line. Goff will set up under center. Gurley behind him. They'll run him to the left side. Gurley with space. The five, the goal line. Touchdown, Todd Gurley. Touchdown, LA. Forget the first down. Rams will take the touchdown. Todd's running like a wild man right now. The offensive line creates a huge hole. He gets through it, stiff arms the linebacker, and just trots in to the end zone. Not, no one else but Mr. Todd Gurley. That fool is on fire also. 208 yards. 208 yards. Two touchdowns for 57 and a half points. Aaron, again, the top two teams right now killing it. These are some of the, you know, the people doing it for them, so... Good job. All right, let's move on to a wide receivers. Now, this one was fun also. Uh, this guy's killing it again. Check it out. Yep, Tyreek Hill, that little crazy cheetah running around the football field. 142 yards, three touchdowns. 53.7 points. Dang. Yep, that belongs to Mr. Michael. Hey, Michael, it's the first time I call your name all season, I think. Well, I'm glad you're, you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it up, man. Keep it up. All right, they're tight in. Uh, actually, the tight end position was very mellow this week. Uh, 
there was no huge turnout from any one of the tight ends. So this guy, however, got denied this week. Check it out. Austin Hooper belongs to Terrence, 23.10 points. That's nine reception. That's really good for a tight end. 71 yards and one touchdown. So that's literally the best outing out of any tight end under this week or this past week. So yeah, 23 points compared to the 50s and 60s, all the other ones were doing. But we'll take it. Speaking of taking points, uh, check this one out for the kicker. I know, right? Jason Myers, three extra point attempts. Okay, that's pretty good. But seven field goals. Damn. Did they even win the game? The Jets? Yeah, they, they won, right? Won all freaking field goals. But yeah, it's 33 points. And guess what? He's a free agent. And as of Wednesday morning, he's still a free agent. So if you need a kicker this week, scoop him up. All right. <laughs> all right. Last but not least, our defense. Check out our defense. Ravens. Not much to talk about when it comes to statistics here, but I'm going to give you one big one. 11 sacks. 11. I feel bad for the quarterback. But 11 sacks. That's really all they did. No interceptions, no fumble, nothing. It was just 11 sacks, which is huge. And they only allowed 106 yards. Damn. 48 points for Alvin. Good job, sir. So, yeah. So, anyway, guys. Look at all these numbers. Take a look at the perfect lineup. This week, of course, later on in the video. Uh, man, I should have compared it before I spoke. But uh, definitely, I think it's the highest one this uh, this year so far. Just because there were so many in like the 50s and the high 40s. So check it out. That's probably a record-breaking perfect lineup. I wish I had the lineup. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So anyway, so hopefully you guys had a great time. This week, next one is going to be very interesting because I'm facing the number one in the league, Mr. Cody. What you got, man? Bring on your Mahomes. I got this. <laughs> I should go for this look. <laughs> but yeah, Cody, I got you this month, this month, this week. All right. And uh, but yeah, check out the MVT this week and runner up and or donkey making a comeback for the second time this season <laughs> all right guys well hopefully you uh check out the rest of the video and we'll see you here next week all right peace out homie
Well, you know, that's the thing with us veterans. You know, we understand where we're at. You know, we understand we got a lot of young guys playing and things like that. And it's our job to encourage those guys because it's so easy in this league to let something like this happen, how the year has gone, people beating down on you, thinking, saying this, doing that, and to just go in the tank and just say, we're done. That's not what we do in Oakland. You know, I know that. You know, I know that's not how we do things. And I've been a part of things like this where it's hard at first, but I, I tell them all the time, I promise you, when we're on the other side of this, it'll be so worth it. Do not hang your head for a second. I'll text, I'll text the young guys. I'll make sure that they are all right. Um, so I've been through my fair share of things like this, and I don't know, I guess I'm calloused, but, uh, you know, it, it happens. Um, but we're going to be just fine. Um, I know that we have the right coaches. We got uh, the right pieces in, in building that culture how we want it. And, um, you know, we just got to get those young guys, I mean, experience, right? That's all it is.